we start video again with another review of a Hot Wheels car and this is a 1 by 65 scale Ferrari 575 GTC by Hot Wheels Incorporated I do believe that Hot Wheels is owned by Metal see Ferrari 575 GTC and there you go that's the car and of course you're waiting for a review of it now this thing is kind of dusty and as you can see from my previous videos I've explained why this whole thing is dusty I left them in the open and I only um, and, and and I am planning to make each and every single one of my you know review videos of these old vehicles to come with me reviewing them as well so yep so this is the Ferrari 575 GTC it's not as dusty as my other collections yeah looks pretty nice so I'm going to get a review in a bit but first of all as you can see we're gonna get ourselves our soap, soapy water and tissue paper well, what I'm gonna do is simple is that I'm gonna dab some of this um, soap solution in it and I'm gonna clean it up there you go I'm gonna put this thing into good, 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 good. Clean it up good. Start on the windshield first. Take a look. Now the windshield is slightly clear. Now, I have to say something about this um, Hot Wheels vehicle. It's gotta be like one of my favorite ones as well because the construction of it is kinda nice. I have to get to you guys that in a bit. I'll tell you why. For the time being, excuse me while I clean this stand up. I have to remove all this dust, most of the majority of them. In places that I can reach, there are certain parts in which I can't reach. There you go, molded rear view mirrors, the side mirrors. Sorry. Sometimes I get those two things confused. It's working. I'm working. I'm working. Two minutes in the video now. Two minutes in the video now. All right. So I'm all done. I'm not going to be doing any more cleaning after that. It is like the best I can, best cleaning I can give it. So there you go. In it, the Ferrari 575 GTC in all its glory. Now let's start with the obvious thing: is that the the thing why this is like one of my favorite. A Hot Wheels car ever because here's the thing that like this whole thing is made out of metal and like the underside is metal it's a max steel which is really impressive because the previous video that we uh, that I got which is about the Hammer H2 uh, the underside is made out of plastic but this one is made out of metal and this is really nice and it's like ripped and there's no detail underneath the inside of this one is due to the fact that in the real Ferrari 575 GTC the other side is actually designed like this in order to give it um, more aerodynamicness, like it is to become more aerodynamic. The car to become more aerodynamic, and ironically enough, in the real car, the other side is actually made out of plastic and not metal. But this one is made out of metal. Of all the places in which they can use plastic, they decide to use metal in this one. So it's kind of funny. But I really appreciate it because I am fully aware that this thing needs to be tough. And what do I got? I got myself a very tough vehicle. Yep. And the sculpting in this thing is really impressive. I have to say, it's got to be like one of my most favorite Hot Wheels die cast ever at 164th scale that you can actually buy in Walmart back in the day for like a buck less than that like 25 cents 50 cents sometimes on like the heavy sales which is really impressive for what it is um, the front lights these are molded in these are like molded clear plastic which is very impressive like for a Hot Wheels car at this scale to have molded plastic that's kind of impressive and the interior of the vehicle is all properly molded and not only that due to the fact that this is a track vehicle you only get to see one um, <clears throat> one seat just like the real thing uh, this whole um, you know a real GTC they don't get much um, interior 
there's like a lot of space removed in the interior in order to save weight and this one follows through that uh, rule which is really impressive really really cool really cool about how to do that and the rear side the rear side brake side is not um, painted but you can clearly see all that detail there in the rear the spoilers is made out of plastic though but I don't mind it, it's nice and the front of the vehicle as you can see that is that the mirror for our sticker yep this very seven five five seven five GTC has got to be one of my most favorite Hot Wheels model and they roll and it rolls really nice so I have to say that this is like one of my gleaming things in my collection right now because I love it so very much I love it so so very much all the tires roll perfectly and silently they are made with the highest quality that metal can offer and the rear side mirrors the back the side mirrors see this they are all molded in both of them are molded in and they exist in this vehicle which is really really good decision by metal now it comes to producing this one good model of hot wheels die cast 164 die cast if you ever found one of these things like in a thrift shop or something I would definitely recommend you to get it because this thing is all quality it's got to be like one of the best Hot Wheels models that you can get ever I just love the way that this thing is so you know well made there's got to be like um, one of those things back in the days in which you say that man the people they don't make things like this anymore uh, you know I would totally recommend you getting this one of these. I think it is like one of the best gems that you can get used. Totally go for it. I got a feeling that one of these days in the future or something you can sell for like four bucks, ten dollars or something. Because it's kind of collectible. It's really collectible. It's very high quality material stuff. Definitely go for this. Well, it's really, really heavy. It's made out of metal, all, and it's Ferrari. Definitely go for this model. I bought this thing in 2004 for the price of 75 cents. 75 US cents. This quality, something like this, is probably going to go for like, I don't know, $3 or something. Three, ten dollars or something, and I bought this one for like 75 cents back in the day. So yeah, definitely go for this thing if you're looking for like something to expand your Ferrari, your Hot Wheels collection, because it's a Ferrari and it's all metal. It's made of all metal, really high quality stuff. They don't make things like this anymore. See, I just say that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Sorry, Matt Garrick, for ripping you off.